two extra depths on what the governor's executive order means for students. Just to be clear, masks will not be required in schools starting June 4th, but students still have the option to wear one if they or their parents want to. ABC7 asked some of those parents what they thought. I think that um, we might be a little, a little early, on, a little premature on that with the masks. You know, the kids are still, are still open to infection, um, and I think that could be problematic. It's up to yourself, I guess, uh, if the kids are being vaccinated, but it should be a requirement for our own safety, just in case, like, the vaccine is not, if not, it's not like it's saving you from not getting the infected. This has been a big talker on our Facebook page already. As you can see, just in six hours or so, more than 100 comments on this post on Facebook. Some viewers are weighing in specifically because, of course, people younger than 12 years old are not eligible to get the vaccine. Someone saying, commenting, a viewer saying, considering kids are not vaccinated, this seems pretty reckless. Another parent even saying, I didn't want to vaccinate my child, but this changes things. So a lot of comments here coming into our Facebook page right now on this topic as a lot of parents are on edge as to whether or not their children who are not eligible yet to get vaccinated will now have to go to school at some point and potentially not have that mask mandate in place. So, Yeah, Rick, legitimate concerns. Some doctors are concerned about how some COVID variants appear to spread more among children. ABC7 asked El Paso's health authority doctor, oh, Hector Caranza, what his message is to those parents who are worried about their students possibly getting infected. My message to those parents is first, get vaccinated. The virus variants are more common to be seen when we have a, a very fast transmission from person to person. And that's what leads to having the virus mutate and, and have new variants. So first of all, we need to slow down or stop the spread of the virus by one, getting vaccinated. Dr. Carranza goes on to say he feels that El Paso schools will be safe for children. My message is that the schools are safe. School officials are doing everything possible in their health and safety plan to keep everybody safe, to include students, teachers, staff. And one thing also is that parents need to be conscious that if our children are sick, don't send them to school because that can also lead to many other children getting sick. So far, only children as young as 12 can get the COVID-19 vaccine. So how are vaccine makers doing when it comes to applying for emergency use authorization for younger age groups? Pfizer is currently recruiting children six months to 11 years old for its vaccine trial. The company expects to ask the FDA for emergency use authorization for that age group in September. Moderna is also recruiting children six months to 11 years of age for its vaccine study. The company has not said when it will have results from this trial, but if it follows a similar timeline as Pfizer's, the company could request an emergency authorization by early fall. Johnson & Johnson expanded its vaccine trial in April to include 12 to 17-year-olds. The company has not announced when it expects to have results from this study.